Hello and welcome back to the uh, supermarket cooking where we're cooking from the uh, average ingredients available in every supermarket on your way home. We are cooking from London and uh, we really appreciate the comments where you're watching from and if you can find some interesting ingredients in your local supermarket. Today we are cooking spaghetti carbonara from some, some ingredients which are available literally everywhere in uh, every British supermarket supermarket and uh, yeah it's just uh, fresh spaghetti with basil today i went shopping to my gas station i was really lazy i didn't want to go anywhere else so i am cooking literally from something which i had at home or i bought at the gas station and it's it's super simple because for example, I really like basil, so here you go, I can just buy a couple of bags of fresh basil. Um, they didn't have a lot of choice of uh, sauces, so I bought this cheddar cheese sauce and I will show you how to make a pretty decent carbonara from this uh, sauce. I had pancetta in my house, but I literally saw the same packages in the shop. For the sauce, we need uh, semi-skimmed milk, which, as you get, you know, available in every supermarket. And then I had some spaghetti already, and I have my seasoning, which you probably people who are watching me not the first time you already know that this seasoning I'm using as a salt. So. Well, I am starting from preparing the pancetta. I will be doing that in my favorite air fryer and you can do it in any air fryer, you can do it on the frying pan. The reason I'll be doing that in the air fryer today, uh, there are basically two reasons. First, I'm gonna save time. So imagine you're coming from work, you're very tired, you don't want to do the big cooking. So to save time, I'm just gonna put pancetta in the air fryer. This is the first reason. The second reason is to maybe um, minimize the fat from pancetta because even if you don't have pancetta, you can take the smoked bacon, it still tastes amazing, but it could be a bit too fat. So if you are watching the calories and you know I never publish the calorie count, but if you do watch the calories and if you want to minimize the amount of fat, I would advise to do it in the air fryer. So I just gonna do um, one more thing. Remember right now I am cooking for about six people. So it's also very, very big portions. If you, made too much food what I'm usually doing and what I would advise is to buy something something like this from the um, from Amazon or any shop and you can put your spaghetti or your food in there close it and put it in your freezer if tomorrow you would like to have some more carbonara you can take it out of the freezer and you can warm it up in the oven for example or you can take it with you as a pan lunch and warm it up uh, in the microwave but please put it on the plate because this thing is just going to create some uh, fireworks in the microwave we don't need it at the workplace health and safety so um, I will just go ahead and open the pancetta and I'm going to put that in the uh, air fryer. <laughs> spread it evenly as we usually do no need to put any spices or anything at this point of time you don't need to stir it or mix it or anything you don't need to do anything so you just close it and you put it at bake for uh, I'll try seven minutes because it's uh, it's a bit of a large portion but uh, it really depends on your air fryer so that is a go in the meantime i will make some spaghetti so i already boiled the water 
maybe this is not the right way of doing things from the proper Italian perspective, but it does save a lot of time. So I'm gonna put the, the water in. And I'm gonna put some salt in or spices or whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to put spaghetti in. So I personally know how much spaghetti I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of that. But remember, it's about... Let's just wait for spaghetti to go in, very gently, try not to brush them, otherwise it's not spaghetti, it's just a long macaroni. Okay, while we are waiting for spaghetti, we can start making a sauce. So on here, it says 300 milliliters. So probably for this amount of spaghetti, um, I'm probably gonna need two, but I'm gonna take three to make it thicker. So I will measure my milk. So it has to be a pint of milk. Okay, and then it says on here that I need to put it into the pan. This is someone who's waiting for maybe some leftovers. Anyway, it says we need to put a little bit of milk in first and then mix it. It does look thick it's great so and only then we need to start warming it up okay and now we're going to go ahead and put the milk in the rest of the milk in okay while we're waiting for this to boil we're going to Finish the spaghetti. Okay, and wait for about five minutes because we need them slightly al dente. They're gonna go into salt. This sauce is getting thicker and thicker by the second. Look at this, it, it's really nice. It's really nice. I think Francesca is ready. So if I just open that. Oh my God, look at this. Just look at this. Right, so now for the, for the next step, I'm going to take the pancetta out and I'm going to put it on the pan. Okay. Right, so next thing, I am combining my pancetta with my sauce nice and oh my god look at this sauce just look at this okay so spaghetti are ready and drained we've got the sauce right here i'm just going to combine them so i'm just going to pour my spaghetti in Okay, so we need to mix spaghetti with the sauce. This is the time where you can add some more um, spices. So I like those Italian spices. Okay. And here's a trick which I have seen in some of the 
Korean drama shows and I didn't do it before and now I'm only doing this this way so I'm just gonna take the kitchen scissors and put my fresh basil in okay and mix this all together so it's all mixed and it's all ready and I will switch it off mmm it smells delicious so let me try it okay yeah I'm not a professional chef I can't do it as amazing as those guys do so it is if I put a little bit parmesan on and much no. <laughs> <laughs> 